John Kerner. I am the program director for the 52 Kids Foundation. We, um, we run a small uh, foundation in Kamuli, Uganda, which is in East Africa. It's bordered by Kenya and the Congo, Tanzania, I think. Um, so the foundation uh, primarily um, works with about 60. We started off with 52 kids, but we work now with about 60 young kids that have been either orphaned or they're very vulnerable um, due to harsh living conditions, uh, trying to get these kids to um, have a sustainable livelihood, and we mainly do it through education. We just started out very small, and we got a little bit of support in the Vermont area and said, you know, we got how much money we could get and divided it by the, the amount that it would cost to buy those things of like uniforms, pens, notebooks, and just kind of all the basics that you can send somebody to school. Um, and that was 52 kids that we could kind of pay for, and I knew like a lot of families who could kind of use that support from the time I was there. I was, lived there for like almost a year, and then, um, so we started out by just kind of providing those things for, for those kids, and then it's kind of grown mostly along the education um, track, but sort of more intensive type supports since then. It started by, I had an opportunity to go to Uganda and see what we had been working on for a couple of years. And like most of the people that, haven't been to, that have not been to a developing country, you are immediately taken back by how everybody gets along in this country. So I, when I immediately saw the conditions that these kids were living in, um, what they were going through to try to have a positive life, um, I felt like I was just compelled to do something when I got back. More the more the idea that like, so I'm going to leave and then you know go back to college. I didn't really want to sort of just totally separate myself from, you know, the year that I sort of spent there. I wanted to think of some way to continue to be involved in, in some capacity, and this kind of seemed like a, seemed like a good idea. So I guess the start the impetus for the starting point was like, well, what am I going to do to sort of stay involved with this area and the, you know the people in this in this area? Because when I go back to college and start doing all those type of things, and then so the 52 kids kind of ended up being a good way to, to kind of do that and to stay involved and stay um, kind of working with some of the people that I'd, I'd met and sort of lived around for a while. We decided we needed to do was we wanted to get these 52 original kids to be successful. We wanted them to be able to live without aid. That was our mission statement from years ago, uh, teach Ugandan children how to live without aid. So the idea was whatever we had to do to get these 52 kids living positively without any intervention by anyone else, that's, that was our mission. So that could have been any, anything from securing their education fees to medicine if they were getting sick all the time to improving their home situations, which a lot of them have really bad home situations, um, uh, career uh, counseling, anything like that to get them to understand what they had to do to be able to, as, a, as an adult, live without asking people for money trying to get some fundraising going on in Uganda itself for 52 kids and there's been, there's been some success. It started out being, you know, no fundraising in Uganda, you know, it was all from, you know, here, the U.S., basically Vermont doing, doing that. So we tried to start, set up some things in Uganda itself that are either like profitable, like there's an internet cafe that these um, you know, young people run on there that does make a little bit of money and also we had like um, a big concert there with a local celebrity you came to like a benefit concert to raise some money and things like that so we're trying to explore ways to be more sustainable in terms of um, can we get some more buy-in and support and fundraising from within in Uganda itself so that's one and my budget's small I mean it's easy math our budget's around fifty thousand dollars a year and we've been in business now for ten years in some years we raise more than that and then when, when we have had that, those years where we've raised more than that, we've taken on um, jobs like building wells, uh, renovating small classrooms, um, building a dorm for the kids to stay in, microfinance, little, you know, little things like that. But our core mission is to pay the tuition, to pay the, the, these kids to, to stay in school. Because that is what I'm finding out to be the ultimate thing that these kids can achieve is a degree. This semester, we decided to raise $7,500 to build that well in Kamuli, Uganda. And so what we decided to do is we decided to start this campaign where we were raising money. And 
unfortunately, we only had one event successfully go off, and that was Champlain's Got Talent. And we actually raised almost $500 for the organization through Champlain's Got Talent. We kind of divvied up who was going to do what, but it, at the same time, it played to everybody's strengths. We had to get a list of performers. We also had to enlist a bunch of donations from places in the community that were willing to support our cause and also support Champlain College and its students. When we tabled, I only actually tabled once, but we got a couple sign-ups. What we did was myself and Julia would get, not yell at people, but get their attention about what the talent show is, and we had candy to give to them to encourage them to sign up. And we just explained what we were doing it for, and that way some people were more interested than others in participating. We hung signs, made sure the auditorium was clean, and um, made a list of who was going to be performing and what their uh, stage name was going to be, talked to the judges, made sure that they knew what their responsibilities were, and just kind of let it become what it became. It was very organic. that it gains tonight, and uh, hopefully Champlain can make the world a better place. You can fit to kids.org is like the um, website you can donate, you know, online or write a write a check or things like that. And you can also, if you're in high school or you know college age or you want to sort of become to sort of learn more about it, you can do some of that on the website. And then also the good thing about being a relatively small local organization is you can just you know, fire off an email to me or, um, you know, any, anybody else that you name you see on the website and just, you know, talk about whatever you're interested in and see if there's a, you know, a way that there could be some sort of partnership or, or work together, so.